Hey, welcome to Madison Burger Week. I'm Pam Yankee along with Josh Scramlin, partnering up again this year with the Wisconsin Beef Council to give you a preview on some of the burgers that you're going to have an opportunity to sample from June 6th through the 11th. So Josh, uh, the goal is to try out our taste buds, give them a little sample on how they're creating uh, special burgers with beef mm -hmm. and charitable opportunities. Did you know that? I did. I read that uh, earlier today and I, my whole life I've been looking for a job that requires me to eat burgers. <laughs> yeah. And when you work with the farm babe, that's what happens. But yeah, I think we're hitting five yeah, all in all. Plan. That's the plan. Now, remember these five are just randomly selected, but we thought we'd give you a pretty decent uh, idea of all the different flavors that you uh, get a chance to work with. And we're going to be also talking with the Wisconsin Beef Council staff and why they partner up with these area restaurants and Madison Burger Week and of course the chefs. So you ready to get started? <laughs> I, I think so. And our first burger, give them a preview on that. What does it got? Whew. It is the Doolittle's Burger Bacon Jalapeno Jam with smoked Gouda, mayo, grilled potato bun, and french fries. All right. So, Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin our version of Madison Burger Week here at Doolittle's on the east side. Let's get started. Well, we're inside Doolittle's on the east side of Madison as our first stop here during Madison Burger Week, and we want to visit with the general manager. Uh, Chrissy, tell us a little bit about Doolittle's. Uh, Doolittle's is a small chain out of um, uh, Bloomington, Minnesota. Oh, cool. Yep, we've got five Doolittles, and then we've also got um, two Porter Creeks, which are a sister company, and now we just opened a new pro uh, property in Sioux Falls, South Dakota called Rome. Oh, nice. Now, have you been involved with Madison Burger Week before? We have. I believe this is our third year, um, second year doing the bacon jalapeno jam burger. Um, we had good response last year from it, so we thought we'd try it again. Excellent. Tell me a little bit about uh, Doolittle's, this particular location is known for its rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide that you wanted to kind of engage in the Madison Burger Week experience again? Um, we actually have a really good response with our burgers. Um, people do like their beef, uh, especially in Wisconsin. <laughs> so we, uh, like, we have a variety of things on our menu, and Burger Week is huge in Madison, and we like to get our name out there. Super. And any particular flavor combination that we're going to be noticing this year? Um, the bacon jalapeno jam is a little sweet, so it is definitely a little bit on the sweet side, but you get the heat from the jalapeno as well. Um, and we use uh, smoked bacon, and we also have smoked gouda cheese on it, so you get a little bit of that smoky flavor too, which is what we're known for. Excellent, excellent. I want to remind you also that when you're involved with Madison Burger Week, and our burger is here, uh, the uh, portion of the proceeds from every burger that you purchase actually goes to benefit uh, the River Food Pantry. So we'll be talking more about that as we kind of come along. And there it is, a beautiful, uh, and they, we've asked them to cut it into fours. When you get yours, it's going to be all in one piece. All right, Josh, we're going to let you do the honors, my boy. Okay. So again, we're looking at, uh, tell me again the, the ingredients. Um, it's a bacon jalapeno j jam burger with smoked Gouda cheese. Um, so it's a seven ounce uh, grain fed burger that we hand patty uh, on property mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And then the bacon jalapeno mm -hmm. jam has brown sugar, <laughs> bacon, um, some vinaigrettes in it, and also some uh, smoked jalapenos. So. Excellent, excellent. I like the little garnish there. It's almost like oh, I'm man. getting ready to drink it. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> kind of like a Bloody Mary. There we are. <laughs> Again, that Wisconsin theme. Now, there was supposed to be a moment there where you actually breathed and tried to savor the flavor. Is there anything coming through? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Yeah, sure. See? Okay. There's so I'm much good. for the etiquette for the Michigan farm boy. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I was I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, I don't I don't like spicy stuff. So when I heard jalapeno, I was like, this could be bad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only like nine AM. I'm like, this could be really bad. It's like you said, it's more sweet than spicy. I, it's not even spicy at all. Here. You hail. <laughs> Let's see how we do. It's delicious. Keep talking, Josh. Well, I wanted to embarrass you eating like you did with me. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. So what is the one thing that you think people would like have to know about this burger? Because for me, like going into it blind, like I said, I thought it was going to be spicy and it's not spicy. Right, and I think that's the important part. It's more on the sweet side. Like I said, you're gonna get a little of that smoky, a little bit of the sweet. Um, the mayo kind of mellows it out with the creaminess. So um, it's really good mix of all different, like kind of sweet and sour and earthy. So we've mm -hmm. got all the flavors there. Now, would this be one of your um, best-selling burgers? Like, how would this rank? How many burgers do you guys have? Um, we have a couple of burgers on the menu. We have the Applewood Cheddar Burger and then this burger as well. Mm -hmm. We also have a gaucho burger that has guacamole on it. And mm. some, um, so out of the three, this is probably our top seller. Is that 
a little hotter profile something consumers are really leaning towards, Chrissy? I think people just are looking for something that's going to excite their tongue. Like they want something that's either going to be spicy or sweet or a little bit of both like we have here, which I think we have the perfect balance. Um, but they want something that when they put it in their mouth, they're going to remember it and want to come back for it. You know, the other thing I noticed about, to your point about the, how you handle the beef, uh, it's not a patty per se like you get when you drive up someplace. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of volume to it and it really allows those flavors and the moisture to be there. Yep, and we cook every burger to order. Um, like I said, they're fresh. We patty them every morning when we come mm -hmm. in, and the guys make sure that they're um, you know, good for every burger lover out there. Chris, thank you very much for your time and the You're special welcome. effort. Thank you to the chefs in the back for helping us out. Again, we're at Doolittle's. This is the first stop on our tour for Madison Burger Week, giving you a little bit of a behind the scenes preview on the burgers you can sample beginning on June 6th. Remember, for recipes just like this or to find out more, beeftips.com is the website that we want you to go towards. And remember, this is all brought to you courtesy of the Wisconsin Beef Council and your checkoff dollars. Josh Scramlin, Pam Yankee, on our way to stop number two. Stay with us.